Welcome back to the Alford Avenue Sports Gaming Entertainment Channel, your one-stop shop for all things NCAA football and EA Sports College Football 25. Over the past week or so, we've gotten quite a bit of news about the game. A trailer highlighting the fact that NCAA is back, if by another name, which colleges will be in the game, and the count of total players that are in the game thus far. With all this being said, it's not a ton of news, but we're excited to see what's coming down the pipeline. With all of this news, the hype behind the game is getting bigger and bigger. We can only hope that EA and College Football 25 can live up to the expectations. Let's dive into this week's EA Sports College Football 25 updates. The appetite is ravenous and the expectations are high. The only real information from the trailer is essentially that the game is back. This was a cool info drop, but left a lot to be desired when it comes to the content of the game. I personally expect a lot from this game and have a lot to worry about over the years with the way FIFA and Madden were handled, both with microtransactions and the lack of care that seemed to be paid to single player mode. All in all though, I'm pretty excited. NCAA was always a different game than Madden. The gameplay was different, the speed was different, and I feel it should remain that way. Luckily, EA have addressed some of these concerns in an article with ESPN saying that we want to make sure it is distinctly, uniquely college football, Holt said. If someone's worried about it being a clone of Madden or something else, that's not our intent and not the way we're approaching this. We should continue to learn more as the weeks progress and have a soft release of July with rumors of July 12th and a promise from EA to learn more in May. The next thing that we're going to take a look at are the teams that are in the game. Check it out. EA released a team trailer on Twitter, on X, um, that has all of the teams that will be in the game. And from the activity all over social media and from EA Sports X account, it looks like all the different college football teams are just as excited as we are to get back in the game, pun fully intended. Here we can see a really cool graphic from EA that displays all of the different teams that will be in the game. It looks like all 134 teams are going to be taking part in being included in EA Sports College Football 25, according to an EA release. Even the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, which was a surprise to most people, according to the Associated Press. Notre Dame had no plans to join the game and wanted to wait for full rulings from the NIL and Associated rulings. Let's check out the players that are in the game. The players make up the game and they were a big part of why NCAA disappeared in the first place. With all the teams being included and NIL being the primary topic of conversation and really the main reason the game went into hibernation in the first place, the biggest questions surround the topics of the players, their inclusion in the game, and the use of their likeness. One big feature of the old games that's currently being hotly contested is the team builder function. This feature allowed players to add custom teams, update rosters, and to create jerseys, players, and entire schools that they could add to the game so that they could tell their own stories, build their own unique dynasty. I hope this portion of the team builder remains, but the main use that appears to be most troublesome is the ability to import large databases of the real rosters for college football teams. It seems according to the AP News article that EA will be limiting this functionality to avoid any lawsuits or NIL infringement, and it is up to the player to choose whether they want to be in the game or not. With all that being said, it seems like the long winter of having no way to play college football games is over. EA has a lot to live up to, but I'm excited nonetheless. Let me know what you think down below. If you enjoyed this content, please leave a like, and if you want to see more in the future, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for checking us out. See ya!